Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here and we are back with another gaming accessory. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I took a look at the best gaming mouse of 2014. I won't spoil the surprise, but I will leave that in the description box. Today we are taking a look at the best gaming keyboard of 2014. In my opinion, this is the Logitech G710 mechanical keyboard. The G710 doesn't come with every single bell and whistle that you might see on other keyboards like a LCD screen. I think those are a bit excessive and I think the G710 fits in perfectly for gaming. It's simple, it's mechanical, and it just works. It retails for 120 bucks, so you won't exactly break the bank and you get top level performance. And of course, this video wouldn't be complete without an unboxing to see what's inside. And this packaging is quite nice for a keyboard. Inside, we have the user manuals as well as wrist pad. This, of course, is optional and you can choose to rock one if you want to or not. The G710 comes in my favorite color options, or my favorite color, I should say, orange as well as black. I guess it was just meant to be on the channel. The overall design of the G710 is extremely simple, and I actually like that look for gaming keyboards. I don't like anything to look super crazy. Just as a side note, it does have two USB cables that are required to plug in, but also note that it does have a USB port up top in case you're limited in terms of USB port options. And in terms of build quality, it feels really well put together. There's no squeaky bits of plastic, and it feels like a premium keyboard should. In terms of features, the G710 has 26 key rollover, which means you can press any sort of combo on your keyboard and get exactly the order that you intended. All 110 keys of the G710 are calibrated to prevent anti-ghosting, and these keys are made of MX Cherry Brown switches that provide good feedback and responsiveness. It also features dual zone backlighting, so for the keys W, A, S, and D, as well as the arrow pad, it has its own set of backlighting. I believe there are four different options of brightness that you can change it to, and for the rest of the keys, they're controlled by a separate switch. Once again, you can choose up to four different levels of brightness, mix and match to whatever your preference is. And maybe the one thing missing from this keyboard to truly customize it is the LED lighting background options. It only comes in one color. And lastly, on the left, surrounded in orange, are the six programmable buttons that you can choose to set different macros to. Whether you're playing MMORPGs or FPS games, you can set this whatever you want. Just make sure you download the software that will be off the Logitech website. So let me know what you think of the Logitech G710 in the comments down below. This is one of the best gaming keyboards that I've used to date and I just love the overall look and feel of this thing. And also leave me a little comment of what your current gaming rig or setup is and maybe I'll take a look at one of those in the near future. If you guys already have it, please do hit that subscribe button as you're up to date with all the content that I'll be pushing out. And of course, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.